everyone and welcome to another episode of Alpha Omega. This series goes over a brief history of the past and present locomotives with the lowest number, and then those with the highest number. Today we'll be focusing on our first freight railroad in the series, BNSF. Since there technically isn't a BNSF number 1, this episode will focus on the lowest Alpha Slug, which is lower than the Alpha locomotive, as well as the highest Omega locomotive, followed by the highest Omega on the railroad's roster. So without further ado, let's begin. First off, it's important to note that this series includes the lowest and highest numbers on a railroad's all-time roster, which means if there was a locomotive with a number it has at present day or when it was scrapped, which is lower than anything on the current roster, then it counts as an all-time alpha. This is certainly the case with the first entry, which is BNSF Slug TEB6 number 50. In the early 1990s, Burlington Northern was experiencing an increase in freight traffic and needed stronger switchers for shunting longer trains in the hump yards. And their answer came in the form of yard slugs, or B units, which are placed behind locomotives for more tractive effort, as the Class 1s converted their aging SD9s into slug units, specifically into the TEBC6, or Tractive Effort Booster Cab. These 7 units were given cabs on one rear to improve crew comfort as they went into service on numerous hump yards, often behind SC38s. The locomotive to be focused on was SD9 number 6115, originally Great Northern 588 the only XGN SD9 to be converted, as the engine was converted into a TEB C6 by VMC on December 18, 1992, and was renumbered as 6289. When the Burlington Northern merged with the Santa Fe in 1996, 6289 had its BN logos patched over and had BNSF stencils as it continued to serve in its original BM paint well into the 2000s and was later renumbered to 250 in 2009. Even with this new patch, the slug still retained its green paint and could be seen all over the BNS system, from Topeka, Kansas to Birmingham, Alabama. Two years later, the slug was finally given a BNSF HD paint scheme, but its two was scraped off and was officially numbered as 50. All of these renumberings have been a result of keeping the present roster open for more engines, but this was the third time in less than 10 years that this slug would be renumbered, with the last time seeming less official than others which could make this slug's place on this episode as an alpha debate. Just as interesting was the removal of the SF in the BNSF logo, as if to suggest that the unit was still owned by Burlington Northern. Eventually, 50 was stored at the Relco shops in Albia, Iowa in August 2017, and was eventually scrapped with the other remaining TEBC6s at the Progress Rail facility in Memphis on May 30th, 2020, thus ending the unit's interesting 63-year career of numerous renumberings. Next, we have the first Alpha locomotive, whose numbers haven't changed since its build date in May 1990, but was also inherited by BNSF as a result of the merger. Just before Burlington Northern created the TEBC-6, the Santa Fe Railroad negotiated longer crew districts and considered redesigning the standard locomotive cab. To gain feedback, the Canadian National SD-50F was tested for different crews to utilize on its run along the main line. The Santa Fe later presented their feedback with the design of a safety cab to EMD, who applied them on the railroad's second order of GP60s number 100 to 162, classified as a GP60M. Even though these engines were the only four axle models to have a Y cab other than the F40, the rest of the body was not a cow, nor to save weight. Since 100 was the first engine to bring back the Super Fleet livery in decades, they were often used for marketing and posters as it led to QNYLA on May 20th, 1990. 100 along with the other GP60Ms were used along the Santa Fe mainline for both short haul and long distance freight runs, with many B units accompanying the A units for the latter. Upon the BNSF merger, 100 was also one of the first locomotives to be given red BNSF lettering while still in its Santa Fe livery, commonly known as a fake bonnet. The locomotive wouldn't be given any new BNSF livery until 2013, when it received a variant of the H Street livery with large BNSF letters on the front of its nose and the top of its nodes being painted black. Since then, 100 can be found on local runs all throughout the BNSF system, with other 4-axle engines such as the GP38, Dash 840BWs, and occasionally 6-axle SD70 Max, as a distinct member of a large roster of 4-axle power. Not too long after 100 was built starts the story of the first Omega in this episode, whose large number truly goes up to the 4-numbered limit, and that number is 9,999. The story of the first Omega goes back to the same rail which owned the first Alpha, as EMD partnered with Siemens to develop locomotive using AC traction power 
to produce high traction effort while being fuel efficient. As a result, the SD60 Mac was developed for several test runs on the Burlington Northern, and after these tests were proven successful, EMD created the SD70 Mac for mass use by Class 1s. Burlington Northern was one of the five roads which purchased this model, totaling 350 units number 9400 to 9749, with even more being ordered by BNSF after the merger of the Burlington Northern and Santa Fe. Engines 9749 to 9999 were delivered to BNSF in the BN Executive livery until the H2 paint scheme was formed, but 9999 was delivered in an H2 livery since it was built in 1999, the same year the H2 livery was developed. However, this unit was not the last one built in its class, as BNSF numbered their next fleet of Max from the 8800s up to 9399, thus adding up to a grand total of 786 Max used by the new Class 1. Upon entering service, 9999 along with the other SD70 Max were assigned to mainline freight runs throughout the BNSF system, often being found on coal trains in Wyoming. In recent years, many BNSF SD70 Max have been stored in long lines, debatedly for a variety of reasons ranging from rebuilds to a decrease in demand for coal, but miraculously, 9999 has escaped its fate for now as it can still be seen roaming the system of BNSF on upper western coal trains in its faded but original H2 paint. Despite the four digit system, there is only one other locomotive which is included on this video which is still on the BNSF roster, and that is number 972554. When I first saw this, I thought its history would be relatively short since there were only a few photos and claims that it was built in 2013. But upon further research, I discovered that this little known snowplow has one of the most interesting histories for an engine on BNSF, as it underwent a massive rebuild in 2013 from a steam powered rotary. This local one was built in 1937 as Northern Pacific No. 42 as the last steam powered rotary built by Alco, and later had its tender removed as it was converted into a trailing unit with MPF-9Bs providing power in 1958. A decade later, it was acquired by the Burlington Northern in 1970 where it was renumbered to 972554. Here it was repainted into a mineral red livery as it would be pushed by diesels on the BN and later BNSF throughout ex northern Pacific Territory in Montana, with one exception being in 2011 when it was spotted in front of Trinity Railway Express coaches. Even though this is one of a handful of steam converted snowplows on the roster, 972554 is focused on in particular since it was rebuilt by Relco in 2013 with modifications that would forever change its appearance. After its overhaul, it gained an almost entirely new identity with GP38 parts and a much larger body, as well as being a self propelled vehicle with 5 axles. These features make this relatively unknown engine one of the few 5 axle locomotives in the US and one of a few steam locomotives to essentially be converted into a diesel, thus making it a perfect feature as the ultimate Omega. Thank you all for watching this episode of Alpha Omega. I would like to mention that there were three emissions from this list, specifically BNSF F45 number 98 and BNSF Rotary Plows 972558 and 972560. The first of the three was left out since 98 was the original number of the F45 when it was inherited from the Santa Fe it was soon renumbered to number 108 and was quickly preserved with little service on BNSF. The second, specifically the Snowplow's B unit, was the last engine listed on our picture archives, not counting maintenance of lay equipment. However, thanks to the diesel shop rosters, I found out that this unit was not powered, while 972554 was self propelled and would be a more credible Omega for the episode. However, there was another Snowplow which was on the former roster, that is number 972560 which was self-propelled, but it was not in service for long on BNSF, and it did not have as interesting as a history as the Omega Snowplow featured, which is why I ultimately chose 972554 for this episode. Thank you again for watching, credit for all the photos used go to their respective photographers, and stay tuned next time for the next last one down the line, Canadian National. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to like and subscribe for more. Have a good day.